What started out last spring was my idea to construct an active AM broadcast antenna. And you can see uh, one of my prototypes here, as well as a lightweight antenna rotor. It's wireless using Arduino. I'll feature that in a future video. If folks are interested, just let me know. Here's my final prototype, which will be my final build of the uh, antenna itself. Again, it is an amplified active antenna using two pieces of ferrite with a loop acting as a phase antenna, as you can see here off to the side that uh, sits right in the middle of the two uh, ferrite pieces that are in parallel. Here's a close-up look of the uh, small circuit board in the plastic uh, weatherproof enclosure. And uh, let's just dig in now. I'll share the schematic with you guys if you elect to uh, build one for yourself. All right, we'll start here with Q1. It's the first amplifier. And you can see my ferrite antennas themselves, which are wired in parallel to increase the uh, gain itself with a combined inductance of approximately 190 microhenries. 68 turns each, Litz wire got me to that point. Um, one thing to note, there's a lot of stray capacitance as well, the way I've got the wiring done, the prototype board, thus the 190 microhenry on the inductance side seem to work best with the uh, varactors here that I'll talk about in just a moment. I had already mentioned there were four stages here to the amplifier. So we just kick things off here with Q1. We amplify the signal. We come over to Q2, more amplification. Q3, more amplification. And then uh, fourth, there's a, a source follower, or more like a buffer type amp, that just transfers all the energy from the uh, ferrite back over to the uh, transfer coil. The transfer coil is nothing more than an old AM loop antenna here. You can see I've got residing in a pill bottle. Now let's talk about the tuning here real quick for the main part of the amplifier. Then we'll focus over here on the phase antenna itself. Since this antenna is really designed to be in a remote location using a mini coax to transfer the energy here from the circuit board back one thing I did want to mention, you could probably get by with maybe just one amplifier stage or two. When I first uh, designed this, uh, my idea was to put this in my attic and use the uh, little mini lightweight rotor that I uh, showed as well in the introduction to the video. But uh, since I've elected just to keep this in my shop, and I may take the antenna itself from the tripod and just put it on a lazy Susan. So all the gain stages may not be needed. You may be able to play around just use one or two followed by the uh, buffer Q4 known as the uh, source follower. Anyway back to the uh, tuning section I'm leveraging the NTE 618 Varactors they're designed to work in the AM band. They're controlled by a variable DC voltage. And uh, here's the design for that. Now one thing on R2, you'll see lots of designs with uh, resistor values anywhere from 
you know, 200 to 300,000. I actually read an old article that a higher resistance value is better. And you may ask, well, if you're passing DC voltage through that, will you not have a DC drop and not allow the varactor to work? The varactor is reverse bias, so there's very little current that flows. And uh, actually, you could use uh, probably what I've read and what I've played around with in my breadboarding anywhere from a 1 to a, basically a 3 meg resistor and it would have no impact here to the tuning voltage to um, Q6 and same for Q5. Now you'll see C2 there's a capacitor here, C1 there's a capacitor here, you can omit those uh, based off of my experimentation. I left them in the uh, circuit. If there's performance issues, you could go back and add those, but they're really not necessary. Again, the 618 just allows us to uh, change the uh, capacitance itself to the circuit. And if you're looking here at the picture-in-picture, -picture, I'll show how the uh, varactor responds here to uh, various voltages as I uh, change the uh, capacitance in the circuit. Now let's talk about the uh, phase antenna here. I used a 10-inch loop. It's got um, 18 turns of 16 AWG wire. You guys saw in the photos it sits off to the side of the ferrites. It does make a substantial difference. It allows really the kind of the fine-tuning of the uh, antenna. It really helps reduce or mitigate a lot of the uh, noise itself. As you can see, I'm using this inside the shop, and I've got some examples to follow of uh, me using the uh, device here in the shop. And I can actually reduce a lot of the noise itself coming from um, other sources. Simply, the uh, phase antenna itself attaches to another varactor here. And I'm tuning it the same way that I would tune the uh, first varactor and I'm using uh, two 10k pots as you can see here with just an old uh, transformer that I had rated at about 300 milliamps with a 12 volt DC output so as I rotate R14 or R15 all I'm doing is just uh, changing the DC voltage to the uh, varactor themselves and changing the uh, capacitance to tune the uh, phase antenna as well as the uh, main antenna. It's that simple. Uh, you do not see an on off switch. In my case I've got this laying right up on my uh, workbench so I just plug or unplug the uh, unit itself. You could come right in this area right here and uh, place a uh, you know, on-off switch if needed. Let's uh, quickly take a look at the uh, bill of materials, that being the parts list. I'll put those in the description of the video. And then, uh, if you'd like, you can see this in operation. I'll do some uh, video clips, uh, maybe five to ten minutes long here, at the uh, conclusion of the uh, video as well as the uh, schematic itself. I'll leave it posted for uh, 10 seconds or so with the BOM in addition to the BOM being posted in the description of the video. As I mentioned, I started building this last spring and hadn't had an opportunity to really work on a lot of projects uh, as much as I had in the past uh, due to other uh, situations going on in my life. So there's a lot of duplication here in uh, part numbers, but that uh, just calls out the simplicity of the uh, design itself. You will see a lot of 0 0.01 microfarad uh, capacitors used uh, here throughout the design, so it makes it uh, simple for it, the uh, build itself. Same for the uh, resistors here. You'll see the 1.6Ks that I used in uh, 510 ohms are the primary resistors used. And I already mentioned the uh, semiconductors here, the uh, amplification itself being done through the NTE312s. 
Um, you could probably substitute um, other um, JFETs um, with similar characteristics and I'm sure get similar response. I use the NTE 618 director diodes that I mentioned and of course I had mentioned in previous videos I just added a uh, red 5 millimeter LED as well. Here's some of the other parts here uh, that I used. You'll see there's a, a 28 AWG shielded audio cable and that just ties the uh, amplifier itself uh, back over to the uh, control box here. Uh, you can see it here coming back through and uh, that was just done again to use this uh, remotely. I've got right now probably 25 to 30 feet of wire strung out here in the shop. I had already mentioned I think I used the uh, RCA jack here for my um, antenna input instead of an antenna or 50 ohm connector. There's some screw terminals, uh, the magnet wire itself. Um, I had already called that out. It's a 16 AWG. I tried a um, smaller gauge wire and uh, the performance was degraded. So my best performance for the phase antenna came from a, a 16 AWG. Now I didn't go any um, heavier than that. Uh, you may be able to even use a, a 10 or 12 and get better results. But um, I think my first try was around a 28 AWG and even some Litz wire um, that I had left over and tried it on the phase antenna and got uh, inadequate results. So the uh, 16 AWG uh, served me better. The Litz wire, I'm using a uh, special blend. It's a uh, 180 with uh, 4644. The ferrite rods, half inch and seven and a half inches in length. And let's see if there's anything else major here. You'll see the other calls, uh, parts called out here. Aviation connector here on the side itself made it uh, simple and easy to uh, do all my uh, routing of the uh, power back over to the amplifier itself. And just a, a used AM loop stick antenna to uh, transfer the uh, signal in the mini coax. Again, I used RG178. Um, you could select that based off of your uh, you know, needs depending on the location of the uh, antenna versus the uh, receiving station. Um, that's about it. So um, I tell you what, let me pull up a couple other photos here that I've got some of the dimensions of the frame and a few other things that may help with the uh, construction of the active antenna if you elect to build one. And then we'll conclude the video just using the uh, unit itself. And uh, you guys can see how it works for yourself.
el número y sí se puede, dice don Enrique Alzate. 980-322-3272. Envíele un texto a don Enrique Alzate, el realtor de la comunidad. Y también, si usted quiere alquilar o quiere vender su casa y quiere... Very, very wide, uh, in terms of possibility. Uh, she also well aware that the last time we had a snowstorm where they said, eh, maybe a couple of inches, it was six inches and paralyzed the city. The sanitation department has more than 1,600 miles and 700 salt spreaders ready to go. I did that. Uh, you have a player obviously back from injury. You can start the field. You would have hit that total against the Eagles in the first play of the game. Yeah. Mentioned. And you have, you have uh, uh, to lead back for the Rams. Their defense allows someone per game when Tlaib is in there and he's on his lineup. A little out of the normal through with County on I-85 with Red White Pleasant Hill Road. Trail, northwest. Ride through Holly Springs on 575 southbound on and off the brakes from before Sixes Road to just below 92. 75 southbound, different story. About 15 minutes from Wade Green to 285 in the Cloverleaf. 400 Ashley Basket. Just over half an hour leaving Alpharetta now. For